All right, here we go. We're gonna speed run the gear list for the main summer adventure race, 24 hour race. Ready, let's go. First thing, writing utensils. You'll need those to mark up the map. You'll also need your phone, keep it off. It's for emergencies only. This is a first aid kit in a waterproof bag. You'll need a compass too, and luckily there's lots of models to choose from. Next up is water purification for the whole team. That can be iodine tablets, a life straw, or my personal favorite, the Catadine Be Free. This is a, uh, an ultra bottle with a filter cap. So you dip this into whatever water source that you're in uh, and you can just squeeze that out into a larger container. You'll need a whistle for safety as well, but before you go out and buy a new one, check the buckle on your pack. Usually there's one built in. Next item is a space blanket. These will help in situations where you're cold and wet. You can upgrade to a bivy, which will actually be a, like a sleeping bag that you can get inside. You then need something to carry at least 50 ounces of liquid. A three liter Camelback does the trick nicely for me. A waterproof jacket is required regardless of weather conditions. It can be a real lifesaver or it can just live in your pack the whole time. Choose wisely. Everything goes in a pack and you've got options from large single compartment packs to adventure race specific packs and even in shorter races, sometimes you can get away with an ultra vest. You'll be racing in the dark, so you're gonna need a headlight. Make sure it has enough batteries to last the entire event. Moving on to some bike gear, you're gonna need at least one tire pump or CO2 cartridges. I always recommend having the manual pump though. A small tool kit for repairs is a must. Recommended contents include your CO2 cartridges and valve adapters, multi-tool, a spare tube, tire levers, a derailleur hanger, a chain tool, and some quick links chain repairs. For this and most adventure races, you're gonna need a mountain bike. A gravel bike won't do, a road bike won't do, you're gonna be encountering some gnarly terrain, and this is what you need to handle that. You'll need a flashing red tail light as well. Do not get caught without one. Every bike needs a handlebar mounted front lighting system. Recommend a backup here too. You'll obviously need a helmet and that's a great place to put another light source. When you're riding in the dark, the more light you have, the faster you can go. Boats, paddles, and PFDs will be provided by the race directors, but you'll need a length of rope to secure the boat. If you're bringing your own gear, make sure your PFD is properly rated. And don't forget a paddle bag to carry everything around. So now we can move on to some of the recommended items. First off is a pair of bike gloves, great for grip and blister prevention. Long pants, tights, or gaiters will protect your legs from cuts and scratches. Don't forget a hat with a brim or visor and a pair of sunglasses. These have photochromic lenses, so they'll go from dark to clear. No matter the season or the weather, it's always good to use sunscreen. This is a handy little stick for reapplication later. Insects are always a huge distraction, so I bring this nuclear deep bug spray. I also pack a mosquito head net. Bring a way to keep your maps dry. These 11 by 17 inch bags work great. You might want something a little more durable like this pouch to keep your phone in. Duct tape is great to have, but don't bring a whole roll. Just wrap a few feet of it around a small cardboard tube like this. The last recommended item on the list is food for the entire race. Make sure you pack enough of what you can eat and of course, remember to eat. I don't carry this with me while I'm racing, but I keep this blister kit in my car for after the races. Uh, it includes things like blister pads, KT tape, scissors, additional bandages, and that kind of stuff. Nice to have. But it's always best to prevent blisters and chafing, so find a product like one of these that works for you and apply it liberally. Pick up a pair of lightweight trekking poles to make your foot travel more efficient. A map wheel is better than string for measuring distances on a map. A non-GPS based bike odometer can help measure distances in real life. And a watch with an approved adventure racing mode can track you and serve as a pressure based altimeter. 